Hi, my name is Welcome to my new episode of Rami Chano Project Human Seki News Desk. Today is going to be a very good episode because I'm going to be talking about not only the two of the hottest teams in all Japanese baseball, but also, guys, today is Mother's Day. And I like to wish all the mothers a very special Happy Mother's Day, especially my mom uh, back in Venezuela and also to my beautiful wife who has my three beautiful children and one on the way guys congratulations happy mother's day and now we're going to be talking about baseball so i do that when i come back make sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell three two one yoro con day gets Welcome back, everyone. Now, I'm going to be talking about two of the hottest teams in all Japanese baseball. Also, I'm going to be talking about some other teams as well. But I'm going to start talking about Laku 10 Eagles, guys. 10 game winning streak. Congratulations. That's a wonderful streak. Uh, one tight game. They haven't lost a game since April 24th. Wow. That's, that's a, you know, a couple of weeks now. Unbelievable. That's a, they're, they're be putting everything together. They have done a really, really good job. But the most amazing thing for Lakuten Eagles is Lakuten Eagles is 16 and 3 on the road, guys. That's a very, very hard thing to do. And, you know, once, once you start the season, your number one goal is to be able to play 500 on the road. If you can play 500 on the road, you definitely have a good chance to make it to the climax. They're playing awesome on the road. And, and also at home, they're playing really, really good at home as well. But when you look at the numbers on the road, you cannot compare. Wow, Six, 16 and 3 on the road. Now, batting average as a team, guys, is 248. They got 24 home runs. They got 128 RBIs. It's, it's not as impressive as some of the older teams. But uh, in Bogioritsu, I mean, they got 2.46 Bogioritsu ERA, which is really, really good, guys. It's, it's, it, it, you know, when you look at the Pacific League, I mean, everybody has good pitching staff. That's what it looks like. But uh, thanks to Tanaka Makun this year, he's, he's been doing awesome. And he's one of the guys that are, uh, he's, he's the leader in the team. And, and he's pulling all those guys uh, together. And Tanaka right now, at this point, he's 3-1 and one with a 1.46 ERA. He's second in the league in, in uh, Bogioritsu and ERA. And the, team, and the other rest of the pitchers are just following him. They're doing a tremendous job, guys. Now, they have... Two good hitters, great hitters. The, the Lakuten Eagles have very good hitters, but these two guys are having a tremendous season this year. And uh, Asamura, we all know how good he is, and he's a very clutch hitter. This year, Asamura is hitting 321 with six home runs, 27 RBIs, leading the league right now. And he's doing tremendously. Now, they got Nishikawa from Nippon Ham as a free agent. And Nishikawa has done a tremendous job, guys, this year. Right now, he's he's batting 306 with five home runs, 24 RBIs. He got eight stolen bases. He's doing really, really good. This guy has some talent. And, and he's, you know, he didn't lead off. And, and is, is one of the best lead off in the game right now. You know, he's, he's really, really good. So, you know, when you look at like Kuten, Eagles, they have good pitching staff. They got good hitters. Um, you know, hopefully they can get another guy who could players. They can provide more uh, more RBIs, more, more production, and, and, and it may be better for the Lakutens to be able to win uh, this year if they stay like that. So if Lakuten continues like that guy, I would not be surprised if they can make it all the way to win the championship because they're doing tremendously, especially on the road. Now, guys, I'm going to start talking about SoftBank. SoftBank is one of the most talented team out there in the Pacific League. They have a tremendous team. They started the season really, really good. At this point now, they're in the second place because Lakuten Eagles is doing awesome. Now, when you talk about the players, they lost a lot of players early in, in the season. And especially the hitters, they, they lost the Yanagita for a little bit. And now, but now he's back and now he's batting 256 with 500 runs, 17 RBIs. It's good, but it's not enough uh, to be able to uh, bring the team back to the first place. Uh, they got Graziel. Graziel is a good hitter, but at this point, they need more production from him. I mean, he's batting 270, 278, 279 with just one home run, guys. One home run and 11 RBIs. That's not good enough 
for for him, especially that we know what type of, what, what type of hitter uh, Graziel is. He's a really, really good hitter, but the, those numbers are not good enough to be able to bring the team back to the first place. They need more production from the Gaiku Kujin guys. Now, they got Imamiya, who is having a tremendous season this year, guys. He's batting 342 with one home run, 12 RBIs. This guy can play. He's a good hitter. Yeah, he can hit, you know, Ichiban sometimes, Nivan. But he can he can do a really good job. He can still run pretty good. He can play shortstop. I mean, he can he can do some damage. I really like the way Imamiya played the game. This guy is really, really good. But they need more production for, you know, Soft Bank to be able to get back to the first place. Now... When you talk about the number one pitcher in all Japanese baseball, I talked about him early in the season, um, Zenga. Zenga is by far uh, one of the best, and he's having a tremendous year. He's 3-0 with the 1.26 ERA. And this year, like I said, I gave um, Zenga the number one pitcher this year because he has a great motivation this year. He wants to go to the major leagues. He will, he will have a chance at the end of the season. And I, I strongly believe that Senga have a chance to win maybe 15 games and who knows, maybe 20 games this year. But if he doesn't get hurt, he have to stay healthy. And then we will see Zenga winning at least 15 games this year. Now, I'm going to start talking about Chivalote Marines, guys, on the Iguchi's Kantoku. Chivalote Marines started the season really, really good, guys. And with great news, Mr. Perfect, Sasaki. He came into the game. He did a tremendous job. After that, he pitched another good game. And then and then he came back. He went on DL. He came back and he pitched another five innings. He won the game. Sasaki is legit. This kid is for real. This kid is good. And he is going to be the number one by far in all Japanese baseball. Pretty soon. Pretty soon he will be. Now, Sasaki at this point, he's 3-0 with a 1.50 ERA. He's, he's leading the league. He's, he's, he's fourth in the league in Bogoritsu. But the way this guy is pitching, I would not be surprised if he gets there quick. Now, he got 71 strikeouts with 42 innings. Now, he got 42 innings at this point. You know, there's is I uh, have to be some kind of a control. How are they going to control him? Iguchi's come to good house. He's going to manage him throughout the whole season because he's very young and he's very competitive. He want to pitch a lot. So... Uh, but now is is the manager's uh, decision how they can control him to maintain throughout the season. Um, Chivalote Marines have 35 stolen bases, number one right now. Bogioritsu right now is 2.79. Bogioritsu is the third in the league. And a couple of days ago, Chivalote Marines was the number one in Bogioritsu in ERA in the whole Pacific League. But the last four games has been very tough. Now, the, one of the things that I see, and then it happened last year, is the Gaiko Kujin players. They need more production from the Gaiko Kujin players because other than that, it's going to be very hard for Chivalote Marines to get back to, to the A class. Uh, Leado, Mr. Mr. Sushi uh, Boy, I really, really like him. And I think that he has a great potential. And I think that he can help the team a lot. But unfortunately, at this point, he's only batting 207 with two home runs, 15 RBIs. And he doesn't really have anybody hitting behind it. So it's kind of hard when you're in that kind of situation. Martin is not playing at the moment. And, and also Echeverria is not producing as well. So for Chivalote Marines to go out to A class, they need to create many things at this point. And of course, Iguchi's Kanto could know how to do that, but they need hitters they can produce a little bit more. Welcome back, everyone. Now, I'm going to start talking about the Central League. Number one team in the Central League, Jakuruto Swallows. At this point, guys, on the Takasu Kantoku. 33 games, 20 and 13. Batting average of 231, batting average of 32 home runs, 132 RBIs, guys. Even though that those numbers are not very impressive, they managed to be in the first place. And I said it from the last year, the key here is the manager. Takasu-san has done a tremendous job making all those decisions and making those guys feel comfortable and, and giving those guys the opportunity and the confidence to go out, to go out there and produce the way they produce for Takasu Kantoku and the Yakuruto Swallows. Now, uh, Bogioriso 3.01 Bogioriso, the lead in the league and Bogioriso number one and uh, also the number two and stolen bases with 18. Murakami, one of the top hitters, 
in the Central League. Right now, he's batting 283 with 9 home runs, 31 RBIs. This kid is unbelievable. He hit back to back, Grand Slam. Wow, what a wonderful feeling. When you're feeling like that, man, just, just, you just gotta go there and swing. You close your eyes, you swing, and you still hit it. That's, that's the feeling that he has right now. Now, also hitting 314 running scoring position. He's he's very close hitter. So that's gonna is, is he's the main in that lineup. Uh the only concern is uh, uh who's hitting behind because the guy Kukujinga is not really uh producing. Santana, um he's not in the lineup and Osuna is not producing the same way he was producing last year. Now Moving to the pitchers, Takahashi has done a tremendous job, guys, this year. He's 3-0 with a um, 2.48 ERA. This guy is the only pitcher that is in the top 10 uh, for Jakuruto Swallows, but that he still, I mean, the team is still managed to be in the first place. They have done a really, really good job. We saw last year when Jakuruto Swallows started in the last place, and they took off, and they won the Central League and also the Nippon Series. Now, I'm not going to be surprised if they can do it this year again. If they did it in the past, they can do it again. I would not be surprised. Now, I'm going to start talking about Chunichi Dragons. Chunichi Dragons on the Tatsunami Kantoku, they have done a really, really good job, especially the, this year is Tatsunami Kantoku's first year. Now, the most amazing thing about Chunichi Dragons is their record at home. And this has been... From the last couple of years, they how they play at home is very, very good. And it's it's, it's not easy for any team to go uh, to Nagoya Dome and, and, and beat Chunichi Dragons there at Nagoya Dome. They are 12 and 8 at home, and they're doing really, really good. And that is the reason why Chunichi Dragon will have the chance to be in the A-class team this year if Chunichi Dragons play 500 on the road. So far, Chunichi Dragon on the road is not playing as good as, as, as we expect. But if they can play 500 on the road, Chunichi Dragon will have a chance to be an A-class team this year. Ono is really, really good. But Ono pitched his best game, especially in Nagoya Dome. And, uh, but this year, he's, he's, he's doing his 2-3 and three with a 2.72 ERA. It's not bad at all. But Ono have to pitch have to pitch better on the road as well. One of the things that I like about Tatsunami Kantoku, how he used the rotation, is that he can use Janagi pitching on Sunday. And when most of the teams are thinking about, we, we'll have a number one on Friday, number two on, on Saturday, and then we just use somebody else on Sunday, Tatsunami Kantoku has their number one pitcher pitching on Sunday and that is very very good because there is a high possibility that he's going to win on Sundays. High possibility that Chunichi Dragons will win on Sundays. Now Janagi is 3-1 and one record with a 2.82 ERA. He's, he's, he's in the top 10 and remember he won the, the, the best ERA last year and I would not be surprised if he, this guy will be in the top 3 pretty soon because he's really really that good so and now they got a new pitcher as well and uh chimizu which he's in the bullpen is doing really good i mean he's three and oh with a 2.13 era and he has six holes already i mean to be able to have uh, a reliever like that that can they can set up the table for the closer i mean that's really really good so the point here is the Chunichi Dragons needs to play, play better on the road. And for that, they need more help from the Gai Kukujin guys, uh, the Gai Kukujin players. So Biciero is, is, is there, is doing pretty good, but he can do better than that. They need another Gai Kukujin player that can support, can bring a lot more runs, at least 20 home runs and 80 RBIs. Other than that, it's going to be very tough for Chunichi Dragons this year again. Now, I'm going to start talking about Yokohama DNA Bases on the Muras Kantoku. Yokohama DNA Bases started the season with the team that everybody thought that it was going to win the championship this year because it was perfect. It was so strong. But unfortunately, some of the players got the coronavirus and they had to miss some time. Some of the players got hurt and they had to go to, to Nigong. And then they brought up some of the uh, Nigun players, some of the young players, which they filled in for the for the veteran players. They did a really good job. And that is the reason why Yokohama DNA Basers maintain right now at this point. Now, 
Yokohama DNA Basters have a really, really good pitching staff. And the thing is that they have one of the best hitters also in all Japanese baseball. Very legit, Maki. Maki this year, he may be able to win the batting title this year. I would not be surprised. The way I see Maki play every single day is he can hit over 300, 30 plus home runs, 100 RBI. Maki is legit. One of the best right-handed hitters in the game right now. Not only in the Central League, but also in the Pacific League. I can wait until all these players for Yokohama DN investors come up healthy to play and they start playing. And hopefully it's not too late because um, it, it'll, it'll get harder. It'll get harder. So if, if Yokohama DNA Basters can maintain, stay around there um, a couple games, not past 10 games over, over 500, Yokohama DNA Basters will have a chance to at least go up to A class this year as well. But they need the regular players back. So if you guys like this episode, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell. Three, two, one. Yoro Conde gets.